So we just moving the truck out of the way and putting the pickup here. And yes, we do have the camera this week, so we're good to go. Anyway, before we start the video, <laughs> roll that beautiful intro. Black Knight Mustang. Yes, we are in the truck. We got a camera this time. We made sure we got it out of the pickup. And we got to make sure we got our keys before we leave. I don't know where my keys. I think I stuck them in my pocket. Yeah, they're in my pocket. Anyway, they're supposed to be up here. Oh my God, I got stuck, y'all. What the heck? They got so many mud holes. All right. Anyway. We got the camera. We headed to Alabaster. Uh, we headed to Alabaster to pick up our load and it's going to Minnesota. So we're going a long way. So, hey, hang. So we here, get ready to turn our place. Yeah, we are supporting PH, as y'all can see. PH up there, Niami, Niami, and Lenny, Lenny, and me, Coffee King. So, yes. Yeah. We always support and driving, supporting somebody. I think I can make this turn right here. Thought that car was going, but I gotta figure out. Man, it's raining like cats and dogs. It's supposed to rain all day today here, so <sighs> it's gonna be a wet, 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 wet day. BKM gonna get all wet. <laughs> what the heck? Anyway. Going here and checking this place. Hopefully they get me loaded. We're picking over here in Alabaster, Alabama, and then we're taking it to, so here's the shipper right here. We're taking it to, they ain't even got the gate open. What in the world is, maybe the gate open up when the camera uh, picks me up. Man, anyway, y'all gotta get out here in this rain. I gotta get out here anyway. Let me go hit this button over here. Y'all see that call thing right there? I gotta hit that. I'll be so we can go ahead and close our door if it got us loaded. For some reason, I seem like this load is heavy. I don't see my gauge ain't even move over, so I think they got me loaded heavy. Probably gonna have to go weigh this load. From the look of it, it didn't look like it was that much. So we will see in a minute. Let me get up here. What we got? Oh, they got it loaded all in the front. Let me go in here and check with them, y'all. Because I think they got me too heavy in the front. All my weight is in the front. Let me go see how much weight they had on this load. So my weight is right. What happened is the trailer was still down. So it wasn't taking nothing off the weight off the front. So 
uh, I think we good. Cause I went back there and looked at my went back in there and looked in. I gotta climb up here, man. I'm getting old to be climbing up in these things. <laughs> anyway. So we thought we was overweight, but we wasn't. In reality, we were good, but my weight on my trailer was still down. So when the trailer raised up, it got it right. So we're going to secure this, put this across there, try to hold it in place, hopefully. It comes going, it's going, but you always want something where it won't slide. So anyway, I mean, I got to be careful because it's waiting here from him going in and out. My leg is so I don't know what. So we're going to hold on here, swing out right here, and come down a little ladder. <laughs> Man, don't get too old for that, y'all. Anyway. Close the door. I put my lock on later on when I start. We got a long trip going to Minnesota, thousand something miles. Look at that. I should have worn my gloves. Why ain't y'all telling you? BK and wear your gloves. Look at my hands all dirty. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna wipe my hands with the gloves. I got some new gloves, y'all. Don't talk about my gloves. I got some new gloves. Anyway, we still supporting pH right there, as y'all can see. So anyway, let's head on. Where well, I'm going? To Minnesota. Morning, 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 y'all. We still got 825 miles. This is day two, heading to Minnesota, somewhere in Minnesota. Anyway, we gotta get us some coffee. And this stuff out of the way. We gotta get us some coffee. So anyway, let's start our day. Let's get rolling. We got a long ways to go. Gotta be there tomorrow and tomorrow morning. So uh, GPS acting funny. If you like it, want to cut off? I don't know what's going on. Anyway, y'all, let's get started. My day gets started when I get coffee. Man, these, these truck drivers just park any kind of way. Look, I can barely make the turn to this driver park right here. He ain't supposed to be parked here. Neither one of them trucks. Anyway, we got to pull in here and get some fuel because we low on fuel because y'all know we was loaded so heavy. So we got to at least get about a half a tank and that's it. We can't get no more than a half as we will, we will be over. So hopefully this guy move up a few minutes and I will be um getting filled so we'll see y'all so we are less than a mile from my place we got to turn up here i forgot the name what the name of the place is and the paperwork is up top so up here so anyway hope my gps lead me the right way lead me the right way they got a subway there and a burger king here um uh, I'll be less than a mile. I might walk back up here if they're going to take a while because I'm hungry. I need some breakfast this morning. I got, you know, y'all know I always got my coffee, but I don't have no breakfast. I always like coffee first before breakfast. So, uh, make this turn right here. I thought about uh, putting some mirrors on the hood right here on the side, on the side, because that helps when you're turning, backing up, or whatever, or a car is in this lane over here where you can see. I think I'm going to go ahead and order some. They're not that high, I think, for a set, maybe $70, $80, and I could put them on myself, but I'm thinking about really adding the mirrors on, because on both ends, because that would help a lot. So showing out there being a lot of water out there so i guess we're right here by the lake or something 
can't see it because the train stuff in it, but I'm looking on the GPS, y'all can see that, and it shows a lot of water over here. So, so this this might be it right here. I don't know. It done circled around. I got to get the name of this place because oh hold on, I got it wrote down right here. So I'm reading it's circling around and going around here. So oh, it's called West End Company. Putting us close over there by the water. So I think the train is kind of blocking up the water over there. So it looks like we're turning in here. I turning in somewhere, shipping and receiving. Water is this is it right here, shipping and receiving. Receiving, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. This is it. This is it. <laughs> Ow! Anyway, these cars come on and this truck's dragging around so I should have just turned in front of them. Uh, you know, sometimes you got to do that. Cut the cars off because they'd be dragging like they going. I don't know where they're going to. Anyway, we pull in here. Hopefully, we the first truck. We got to go get our trailer. We got two lights out in the back I seen this morning. So, we perfect timing because they open at 8. So, we would have been able to park here or maybe back in there. Oh, we could have parked at the gate though probably but anyway uh they open now so we're gonna get on around here and find out where are we supposed to go and get this off and then we'll head to the shop i don't even know where the dock is here we'll head to the shop and go get them two lights fixed maybe these are the doors you have to back in i'm probably gonna have to pull over here beside all this junk right here and figure out where I'm supposed to go. I know I ain't supposed to go back around there. So I probably got to have to do a U-turn right around here and back in one of them doors. So, But y'all, we're going to go check in first and we'll get back with you. So I'm empty. Go close my door. <sighs> going to be courtesy to close their doors for them. They said it's supposed to automatic open or automatic close, but it didn't open. I had to get out and open the door. So I'm going to just close it for them, you know. There's no, no time, no wasted time to close the door for them because I got to wait for them to find. I got to wait for them to find a place. Uh, so I got to always make sure I got my load locks in. Find a place for me to take this trailer because I got two lights out up here and I think it's electrical. Uh, there's a piece hanging up there, but I don't know. Maybe it's two blow lights. That's a piece of rubber right there hanging, so. Let me, let me go in here and turn these lights on. Because sometimes it can be a shortage. You hit a bump and the lights come back on. Just want to make sure. Uh, cause DOT don't play about lights. That's points off your scores, and we don't need that. Oh, I'm gonna turn the park lights back on to make sure and see what's going on. For some reason, me myself, as replacing lights and messing with electrical things. Two lights don't go out at the same time. Yeah, they still out. It maybe be the lights, so I don't know. We'll see whenever they find me a shop. But if it was in two different places, then to me, I would think it's a light. But since you got them two lights over here is out, and them two, them three are on, makes me think it's something electrical. I don't see no broke wires. I can't get up there. If it's down bottom, I would fix it. I don't mind fixing stuff on the truck. Y'all know that I'm always working or doing something on the truck. So, anyway, we're going to get in here. It seems like lights are always an issue <laughs> with trucks. I don't care if it's brand new, old, or whatever. Anyway, y'all, we're going to head to the shop. Well, we got to get waiting for them to get with us and let us know where we got to go. So, we'll see y'all a little bit. So we decided uh, to go get our load first, and they said that uh, there's a couple of places in um, Uma, I think it's called Uma, Minnesota, where I'm picking up. So 
So there's a couple of places they say there that we can take the trailer and let them look at the lights. Because like I said, we don't know if it's electrical or light flow. You know, it's beyond me because I can't get up there. I'm not even going to try to climb up there. If it was down at the bottom, yes, I work and see. Uh, I got a te light tester to see if it's getting power. And, you know, I would change the light myself. So, but with it being that high up, I have no ladder or nothing to get up there. So, other than that, so we're going to get our uh, load. See how many miles. We got about like 88 miles there to go pick up our load. So, on the way, I hope we can find us something to eat because I'm hungry. <laughs> that subway, that was nowhere to park over there by that subway. So, we got a load that came out that we could park somewhere by that subway. Nowhere for a big truck like mine to park there. So, on the way, we're going to keep going. Hopefully, we can get on some back roads. We can find us somewhere to get us a sub, eating or something. It's 9.30. I should have been there at eat by now. I should have been eating by now. But, hey, sometimes you got to put off the eating and get your load where you got to go and go <laughs> to your pickup. Drivers, y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, y'all, we will see y'all when we get to, uh, I think it's Oom, how you pronounce it, Oom, like U-L-M. Minnesota. So we just went past the stadium over here in St. Paul, Minnesota for the Minnesota Vikings. Um, I should have got some video of that, but you know, traffic moving and I can't really film over there too quick. I, it would have been nice to even go over there, you know, but I ain't got time. I got to go pick up this load because I'm going to PA, somewhere in PA. So <laughs> we'll see y'all when we get there to the pickup.